And welcome back to Jeff Kanange Live here at Citizen Television, the first bench of 2024. And I tell you, folks, these are top performers, the best of the best of the best. And they've just recently concluded KCSC examinations. Right next to me is Kamori Villa Muthagania, who scored what you can only describe as top marks, 84 out of 84. Who does that? He just did it. Right next to him, Esther Vashuka. She also scored in the 70s, did really well. And on the far end, Dickens Zamondi scored 83 out of 84. My goodness, who are these people? Joining us live from Nakuru City, Nax Vegas, is Doris Oaidera Kadungu. She'll be talking about also her achievements. Folks, good to see you all. Congratulations to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. 84 points. Yep. Out of 84. Yeah. And then you cross your leg like that. <laughs> <laughs> My God. How? I mean, what was it like? Um, it was tough. Was it tough? Yeah, it was not easy. But I'm happy that God saw me through it. What school and... Uh, I uh, was in Kagumo High School. Kagumo. In Nyeri. And I wish to say a lot of thanks to the principal, Dr. Silas Wirigi. Is he watching you? Yeah, he's I bet he's watching you. <laughs> yeah, he did a good job yeah. to get the teaching staff. And so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Like, you, you're the top, top student. Yeah. Uh -huh. Were there others in your school who got close to you or...? Yeah, we had some who got 84. A lot of them got an A, A minus. Yeah, generally I can say we did well as a school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esther, tell us yeah. your full name, your school, and how many points? Yeah, my name is Ngura Esther Washuka. I'm from Kongede Secondary School. I know it's kind of unpopular because it's a day school, but now I'm so grateful to God because if it was not for God, I couldn't have been here. And now I'm so grateful now I've made even my principal to shine and my school because this is an upcoming international school. And uh, I got 75 out of 84. Um, I just give thanks to the Lord. My gratitude to Madam Principal, Deputy Mr. Gishohi, all my teachers, my mom, yeah. uh, my Reverend Elijah Lankisa. I just want to tell them thank you. And they're all watching you, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was it tough? Was the exam tough? Uh, yes, for me, too, I can say it was fair. Uh, for me, the, you can get one paper, but maybe paper one, it's okay. Paper two, you find it's kind of challenging. But because God has carried us, and I'm so grateful. Well done, well done. Thank Dickens Zamondi. Yes. Tell us your name, your school, and how'd you do? Oh, my name is D Odiambo Dickens Zamondi, of names. Uh, my school is Muranga High School. I know it's proud, it's watching. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I got an A from our school. I know I've made many people proud. My class teacher, the principal, the whole of Muranga High School has always, has always dreamt of producing somebody to, to represent it at the top. Oh, is this the first time? Not really. The, the, in, there are others who have represented Morang High School? Yes, for example, in 2020, the top student in the whole of Kenya, Robinson Wanjala, came from Morang High School. Mm. I know it really gave them a motivation to produce others and others. And they have constantly posed some gifts for any student who will appear somewhere like top 10. I'm glad I have someone, I've somehow achieved that, and I know it's proud. Did you get any gifts? <laughs> I'm yet to do. <laughs> yeah. Was it tough for you, Dickens? Was the, were the exams difficult? The exam was not familiar to me, but I really found it easier than what I've always been doing. Yes. You're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. Yeah, yeah, but I can agree. The it was not familiar. It was not familiar but it's somehow simpler than the exams we've been doing, the internal exams. Uh -huh. But I must say, this year's exam was unpredictable. For a moment, I thought the, those who were setting, they, they, they looked at the predictions, then from the exam, removed everything that was predicted because it was very unpredictable. Yeah, you expect a topic to come, it doesn't come, Yeah. but still you make it. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's go to Doris Waidera, all the way in uh, Nakuru City, Nax Vegas. Doris, tell us your full name, what school you are in, and how many monks you got. Kwanza nigependa kushukuru kwa fulsahi mbinipa. Kwanza kuongea nawe Jeff. Mimi naitua Doris Waidera Gadungu kutoka shule ya 
upili ya Langalanga na Kuru ambayo ni sub county school mixed day school my school has been producing uh, A's for boys but I am the first one to get an A a girl and uh, my school is proud of me how many points did you get Doris I got an A plane of 81 points out of 84 Fantastic. Well done, Doris. Was it difficult? Were the exams difficult? Uh, the exams were not predictable. <laughs> I can say that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we thank God. Okay, so when you received your results, Doris, how did you feel? I felt fantastic. Nilifurai sana. Lakini nili, nilikuwa na imani kwamba nitaweza kupita niende niweze kuwafresha wazazi wangu shule pia familia. Ah yeah. stand by uh, Doris we'll get back to you in a second because you have a great story of how your father used to take you to school every single day. Let's start here um, Dickens you first. Yes. Where did you grow up? How was life growing up? Tell us your story. Oh. So I'm a boy who grew up in Kibra. Yes, that is where I don't even remember the day I went there first. But I just remember playing the streets. And um, I used to go to Guadalupe Junior School. Yes, I had uh, very supportive teachers there. In my primary, there was Miss Sam. And I gladly, the head teacher then, Tisha Max, uh, was, uh, she was kind hearted and she let us. Uh, she let me and my sibling to study at no cost. Yes, and that was a relief. And uh, we, I studied there. My class teacher, Jotham, he really instilled discipline. And uh, finally, when I got to class eight, the school hadn't enough students to register for KCSE. So I registered at Laini Saba. And uh, the teachers also requested that we do studying there. And so I had to go there occasionally, not even occasionally, every day, mm. to study with the rest. And uh, it was really be I was really behind. I started, I started somewhere lowly when I was in class eight. I know I didn't start at the top with 400s. But uh, the teachers there were patient and they kept encouraging us and uh, molding us to succeed. And finally, uh, I was still in Kibra, and uh, I attained 425 marks. 425? Yes. In KCP? Yes. Good Lord. And I was, I was extremely happy. In fact, I was the first in Kibra then. And uh, it was just then that we moved from Kibra to Dagoreti mm -hmm. because um, there was a road, a highway that was being built there. And in fact, in Dagureti, there was also security. And I was called to Mranga High School. I remember I was happy and I celebrated in my line Saba. Appreciate the teachers, <laughs> Mr. Barasa. There are some teachers there. And in Mranga High School, I met another very important community in my life. The teachers and the students, I know they are the ones that drove me to success. Because even for me to succeed, I didn't do it purely for me, but mostly for them. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. And, Amazing. Esther, what about uh, you? What is your story? Um, for me too, I've been in Gedurai 45 for, I think, above more than 10 years. Okay, that's where I've grown. I was taken with my dad to Gedurai, Kimbo, Gedurai 45. That's the primary school that I was in. I was good in music, in drama, so that was my best field. I did not concentrate much in education, but what I loved so much was just co-curriculum activities back when I was in primary. But when I reached class eight, is when I saw oh, the exam is a reality now. And now I saw that I had a dream. After now, I was 12 years old in class seven, when I came to realize I have a dream in medicine to become a doctor. After that, in uh, class eight, I did my 
uh, the max that I got was 260 when I was moving from seven to eight. But God has been faithful. I remember there was a time I was getting even 46% in maths in, when I was in class eight. But when uh, we almost reached to do our KCPE, I started to work hard to be focused. I remember now the KCC, I got an A minus in maths. It was fantastic, something I've never got. And even 355 marks, I think I'd wasted some times back then and other, but at that time, when I came now back to my right senses, I just said, no, it's time to change my story. And I got 355 marks. I was called to a good school, a good extra county school, Our Lady of Mercy. But then the financial issues were there. So my dad was not able to take me to that school. So what he did, he just looked for this school where my former sister used to school, going at the secondary school. For me at first, I felt like heartbroken, like what? I'm going to a day school with all these marks. But one thing I, I just prayed and told God, just help me. I went to my dad straight where he was. I told dad, dad, stop stressing yourself anymore. I'll go to a day school and I'll make you proud. And I was admitted to a day school, now going to the secondary school. I was so happy how the teachers received us. They really welcomed us with open hands. Uh, when we reached there, they told us, this is what Madam Principal told us, go and make Kwangede Secondary School your dream school. It just changed my mindset. Make Kwangede Secondary School your dream school. So from that day, I was super focused. I remember my teacher, Chadebra, told me, Esther, now you just know you're not competing only with Kwangede students, people in alliance. So I'm grateful for that confidence and uh, that encouragement word from Madam Debra. And also when now I joined Form 1, uh, that's when COVID-19 came. But at October, suddenly we lost our dad. He died. It was like a turnaround story. story the story changed all of a sudden. Um, you died of COVID? No. I'll, actually, I did not even want to do much about it. But one thing I was told by my mom from the medical results is that there was a clot. Yeah, and he said, so that caused the death. But all of a sudden we went back. I, I did not know even where to start at first because he was the one who was supporting me. By that time with my school, with everything. He was a mentor every day. He was telling me, Esther, you know, I never used to do well in biology. I'm so happy you're doing well in biology. That's what he said. He was good in physics, but later I told my dad I want to be a doctor. But as time proceeded, I came to start knowing myself better and knowing that I can do extremely and abundantly. And I said, I will now drill in the field of cardiologists. And you did well, and you did well. Stand by. Let me just yeah. ask Amora over here. What about you growing up? Tell us about your upbringing. Um, thank you for the opportunity. So originally, I'm from Kinangop. And I know all of them are watching. The whole of Kinagofu. Kinagofu. <laughs> I know all of them are watching. Yes. Uh, led by my uncle, Mugai. So my family has a unique history. <laughs> they tell me that we have migrated for about 30, 35 times. <laughs> so in the end, we landed in Kikuyu constituency, a place called Karai. And that's why I went to uh, Gadero Primary School. I studied uh, since class one up to class eight. I managed to score 406 marks uh, from that school. And I was admitted at Kagumo High School, which was my dream school, by the way. And so um, in the year 2020, it's when uh, that I was admitted. So things were challenging for me. And I remember that time when I was uh, preparing to go to school. My dad was very sick by then. In fact, when I was uh, being taken to school, he could not be able to take me to school because he was so, so sick. And I wish to take this opportunity to thank my sponsors, Cooperative Bank, because they, they came to me and they picked me at uh, the time when I was desperate. I thought everything was caving in, but by God's grace, I managed to go to high school, Kagumo High School, and uh, I wouldn't say life has been easy for me there as well. And I promised myself when I entered the school that was going to make my dad proud. When he break for the first uh, half term, we lost uh, our dad. Oh. May his soul continue resting in peace. But I wish to take this opportunity to thank my elder brother, Kelvin Digger, because he took up the opportunity and the role as my father. And he's been there throughout my whole journey, accompanied by my mom, who I know she's watching. I love you, mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, they've been there together with my siblings. And uh, I, I, I promised myself 
because I'm a joker, naturally. <laughs> so <laughs> so when I went to school, I promised myself that I wasn't going to read because of myself. I was going to read because of them. Not, not so that I can, I can get that grade and become happy, but so that when the results are out, I can see smiles on their faces. And that's what I promised myself. And I'm happy that God has made that come true. Yeah, so I can think, yeah. So, so you're a comedian on the side, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Funny guy, that's great stories. Let's go to Doris Waidera there in Nakuru. Doris, don't be a story, Yako. How did you grow up and how, how was life growing up? Uh, Santi, mimi ni mzaliwa na mkuwaji wa Nakuru. Nime nilisomea shule ya, ya Nasari hapa hivi inaitwa Joyce. Eh nikaweza kujiunga na shule ya msingi ya Freehold hapo bado Nakuru. Nikaweza kupata alama ya 387 katika mtihani wa KCPE. Wakati wa mtihani huo nilikuwa ndivyo nilivyojua nilikuwa na shida ya macho, myopia. Lakini hiyo haikunizuia mimi ku fikia hiyo alama haya na hapo niliweza kupata mwito wa kwenda katika shule ya National Moy Girls Nyabohanse lakini kulingana na familia yangu hatukuwa na huo uwezo baba yangu anafanya kazi ya kutembea kiuza vitu za marimari ndugu yangu mkubwa eh, um, akuweza kufuzu vyema katika mtihani wake wa KCPE akafanya certificate ya upishi kwa hivyo anaenda hapa nje anafanya vibarua vya kupika ili aweze kutusaidia kupata karo na pia kujikimu ndugu yangu yeye mwingine eh, is autism na mama ndiye anaye kaa na yeye kwa hivyo hana kazi anayofanya niliweza kutafutiwa shule ya msingi hapa karibu ya ya upili sorry hapa karibu ya Langalanga Secondary School ambapo niliweza kukubalika na mwalimu mkuu na hiyo haikunizuia kuifikia ndoto yangu ya kupata alama ya A kwa sababu ilikuwa tu sub county school na mixed day school kwa nilijiambia moyoni mwangu kuwa kile kitacho kitakacho determine e, future yangu ni kujituma na kuweza kujiamini na kwa hiyo namshukuru Mola kwa kuniwezesha kupata hayo. Hebu niambie Doris baba alikuwa akikupeleka shule aje. Baba alinipeleka shule kila asubuhi na jioni kunikujia kupitia baiskeli. Actually ni blue black mamba if you know it. So yani, uh, yeah. yani ile original black mamba Yes, that one. Uh, he bought it in 1986. And, <laughs> and he used to take you every day, every morning, every evening and akuchukua. Every morning with the duck, tunarudi nyumbani kwa no giza, insecurity hapa hadi ikiwa mbovu, yeye alikuwa anajitolea maisha yake ili niweze kupata masomo. Na Abu niambia hiyo distance ilikuwa how long roughly? Roughly ilikuwa Say 30 minutes walk. 30 minutes walk, so about 10 kilometers. Yeah, uh, approximately. A little less, okay. And he'd not occupied it for how long? For four years, Amma? Yeah, he did it for four years. Alin Kujia Tango Nikio from one, Adi Sain Kamaliza Nikio from four. Actually, the last year, Nikio from four. Alikuwa na nichukua hapo hivi 5 tunafika shuleni 5:30 hivi na seto class nafanya study zangu ikifika baadaye jioni saa tatu kwa kwa sababu hapa nyumbani kuna ubinyo eh yani tumeshikana sana tusingeweza kupata ile nafasi ya kusoma kwa hivyo niliongea na madam principal Mrs. Sorfina Nkonge akaniruhusu niweze ku extend pale shuleni nikaweza kufanya masomo yangu kwa hiyo alikuwa ananikujia usiku huo na ukijua huku pondamali na kuru kuna insecurity e, mbaya zaidi baba kwa wapi sasa baba kwa hapa he must be very proud of you yeah 
He really is. As we, as we are as well. Doris, stand by. We'll also uh, come back to you in a little short while. And also we'll come back to Kamora, Esther, and Dickens. You know, I, lo I love the way you guys uh, mention your teachers. You keep mentioning your teachers. I don't remember any of my teachers. Maybe it was that long ago. Maybe. It was 40 years ago. Yeah. It's long ago. We had Form 6 back then. There was no, you know, Form 4. Uh -huh. We had Form 5 and Form 6. Okay. That was in 1984. I wasn't born. You were nowhere near born. <laughs> <laughs> Got a great conversation with some young Kenyans who are making a difference, folks. They want to do so much. We want to ask them, what do, what do they want to be when they grow up? Good question. Keep tweeting at Kanaga Jeff, at Citizen TV with the hashtag. Check it live. Check it live. Take a break. We'll be back in a moment.